We're testing the new generator. Now this one is the latest iteration. If you follow me, you know that I'm continually upgrading and changing my generators. This particular generator is unique insofar as that I have changed what is called the magnetic circuit. Now what that does, that produces more power and it's a cleaner, more powerful system. What we're doing with this is we're developing this generator so that we can connect it to off-grid uh, inverters. Now this generator will produce uh, thousands of volts, obviously, but or hundreds of volts, excuse me. But the advantage of this generator is the ability of the generator to uh, pr uh, produce power at a lower RPM. Now, when we connect it to the new inverters, we're going to set this generator up such that the generator will power the inverter, the inverter will drive the home. Uh, we're going to have dual 5 amp or 5 kilowatt inverters that produce uh, 240 uh, split phase or 50 hertz at 230. What happens is, now the reason we had to develop this generator is these new inverters also charge batteries. You don't need a battery to run it, but if you have batteries, what happens is this generator is powerful enough to run your house and charge the batteries. The advantage of that is when the batteries are charged, the engine that drives this generator shuts down. Once it shuts down, the batteries run the house. Then when the batteries are, are depleted, this thing starts up again. Now we are using, uh, we've, we're working with a company that can provide these. Now these are gonna be off grid. I wanna make that clear. They're off grid so that you can run them without the grid and it will run. Uh, you can actually, if you have solar, you can actually add solar with it. This is a, a very advanced system. We're, uh, I'll just run the generator a little bit so you can see how it works. You see it produces a lot of voltage very quickly. We're only at 300, we're almost 100 volts. See that? Now the advantage of this, again, the advantage of this generator is that it produces so much power. Now we're at 500, and we're at 132 volts already. These are still zero cogging, low RPM, but they are tremendously more powerful than the original. And the other thing that you need to look at, this is not running ceramic bearings. This is running regular steel bearings. Uh, the only noise you hear is your little uh, DC motor right there that we use, the chain drive motor. That's the only noise you hear. We're running 490, we're running 498 RPM, 131 volts. Now these, this generator is capable of producing 250 amps. So it will run any house, it'll run all the inverters. And with the new inverter system, we're gonna put a 16, a 16 horsepower engine on this uh, generator, running on propane or natural gas. What you're gonna have there is, you're gonna end up with about two or three cents, that's an estimate, don't time you to it, two, two or three cents per kilowatt hour, which is a tremendous savings. And if you're using propane or natural gas or any of the gaseous fuels, you're running green energy. And that's what we're doing. We're, we're making it so that everybody can get off grid if they want, have all the energy they want, and use very efficient generators. That's the whole idea behind it.